This barbell is their uh, economy barbell. This is under $200. Um, currently it sells for $195 on their website. Shipping is probably around $30, $40. Um, but I luckily got this bar at their Black Friday sale. So this came along with a few other items, four other items to be exact for a total of five bucks. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a review end to end. And then I'm gonna show you guys a quick workout video, a few workout videos on the things that I planned on using it for. Um, quick uh, point that I wanted to make. The reason I bought the Echo Bar is I wanted an all-purpose barbell that I could also use for my landmine. I didn't want to use my other nice bars for the landmine for that purpose. But for the few weeks that I've had this, I am actually very, very impressed by it. I've had a few other bars of uh, Rogues. I've had the Rogue version 1 and version 2, uh, as well as their Power Bar, among other barbells. And to be quite frank, this bar does not, you know, other than the uh, bells and whistles you'll find in the other bars, this bar does not disappoint. It uh, definitely is a good bang for your buck, multi-purpose bar. I think this is a great bar for somebody like myself, someone who's pretty much a jack of all trades, master of none, somebody who pretty much can use this um, for power lifting, as well as Olympic weightlifting. There's only one neural mark here. This is the Olympic weightlifting neural mark. Um, no center neural. Uh, I actually prefer no center neural because um, I, I like to do a lot of uh, front rack barbell work and whenever I really have anything other than you know passive center neural it really just chews up my my uh, upper chest anyways um, also the the, the, uh, the finish you can see it's it's a bright zinc finish it's uh, really good against corrosion not the best but it does it's it does its job very well um, as you can see, let's let's talk about the neural for a little bit. Uh, the neurals, um, it's more the, on the passive side, but it gets the job done. Um, it feels like denim, um, a little bit sharper than denim. I don't know if you could see when I close up, it'll probably just get really blurry, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, it just feels good. It doesn't grip, it doesn't bite as much as say an Aleco bar or uh, the power bar or a deadlift bar but it's definitely something you can do, say a 30 rep um, clean and jerk or a 30 rep snatch, and then just easily transition into a bench press and to a deadlift. It's, um, it gets the job done and you know, it won't really chew up your wrists, I mean, chew up your chest and it won't chew up your calluses as much as the other bars, the other special, more specialized bars. Um, according to the website, according to uh, Matt Chan's video, uh, I believe there is a bronze bushing and a steel bushing. There's two bushings in there. Um, let's see how it spins. All right, so this is my Ivanko bar. It really does show the spinning because of the uh, holes. It doesn't, it's not necessarily a bearing bar, but it gets the job done. Um, plenty of space here. I think there's about 16 and a half inches of uh, loadable space. Um, this is the, uh, the difference between the version 1.0 and the 2.0. See the Echo Bar has its new end cap. I like it. It's cool. It does the job. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it screams utilitarian. It screams economy, but it doesn't um, detract anything from the uh, effectiveness that this bar will have in your workout. Um, on the website, it mentions that it has a lot of similarities when it compared to the Ohio Bar. Um, probably the only differences would be, you know, the new Cerakote flashy uh, camo or whatnot that you can get by spending another two, two hundred, hundred fifty dollars. Um, but you know, to be honest, if I was to say open up a uh, CrossFit gym or uh, powerlifting gym or well, not necessarily powerlifting gym, but just like an all-purpose type of gym, um, I would purchase this bar uh, for the masses. This will definitely satisfy everyone. Uh, this part is here, it's, it's ribbed, ri ribbed. I'm sorry if I'm saying it right. It's ribbed, you could hear, it'll help hold the weight in place. Standard collars hold it just fine. Um, the neural marks, uh, sorry, my thing won't focus. But anyways, the neural marks end and start uh, perfectly. There's no over, over neural, there's no overshooting in terms of neural. Um, and it does the job. So what I wanted to do is uh, give you guys a quick workout. Um, I'm gonna do some front squats. I'm gonna do some overhead presses. I might do some Olympic work. I'm gonna show it on the bench. 
and uh, yeah, that's that's my really quick first impression, and on to the rest of my review. All right, guys. So I wanted to give you guys my um, personal opinions on this barbell, my first impressions, a little bit of review, as well as me actually using the bar in practice. Um, today I'm just going to be doing some squats, presses, Olympic lifts. I'm going to be doing some bench work and some deadlifts. Nothing too heavy. Just kind of, um, you know, a little bit of a little bit of everything, which is exactly what this bar is for. I think um, this bar is nothing special. It's nothing. It doesn't do anything um, great, but for me, the best part about this bar is that it's a very utilitarian bar. It's under $200. Um, it carries the same quality. It, it has the same quality control and it has the same manufacturing processes, practices that the other Rogue, more expensive Rogue bars do have. Um, I'm sure they use the same material, the same metals, the same, um, the, the same uh, manufacturing machinery. Um, and the same people, obviously. So you could put as much confidence in this bar as you would anything else that they do carry. Um, from their racks to their, um, you know, from their dumbbells to kettlebells to their weights, um, the road quality does sit with this bar for $195. Now, the biggest caveat in uh, spending a little bit less money um, for this bar is the fact that you only get a one-year warranty. I, I must admit that I did at one point have to warranty one of my bars I had the Rogue Ohio Power Bar for about two, three years, and um, one day I, I noticed that it did it did bow, it did bend a little bit. I contacted Rogue, and it, immediately they pretty much, um, you know, with some proof, I had to let them know what happened. But they immediately warranted, sent out the new bar, and I had to send the the bent bar back. So for me, um, the lifetime warranty of a, a barbell is very important. The Echo Bar only carries a one-year warranty. Um, also, having um, at that point, I wanted to say that uh, having a lifetime warranty is only good for a company that you believe will last a long time. And I feel like Rogue is something that's their, their lifetime warranty will last as long as the lifetime of the bar, if not longer. You definitely want to have a company that will be around, that you can be confident will be around for a long time. And I feel like this brand is, is you know, is that brand. Um, second, I want to talk about uh, the bar itself. Um, the bar weighs about 20 kilos, exactly 20 kilos, so that's 44 pounds, guys. Um, keep that in mind when you are shopping for barbells. You, um, a lot of barbells come either 45 pounds or 20 kilos, and um, depending if you're a competitor or just a general weightlifter like I am, um, it might not make too much of a difference, but when you are loading up, 500 pounds on the squat or 400 pounds on the bench you want to you want to realize that there might be um, a pound or, pound or two I mean not you know like 20 kilograms versus 45 pounds that there's going to be a one pound difference and the diameter of the bar feels good to me it's 28.5 millimeters a lot of people prefer um, I know a lot of people prefer 28 millimeters if you're a dedicated weightlifter um, a lot of power lifters like to squat and bench with a 29 millimeter bar um, I have average size hands, um, and I think the 28.5 millimeters feels pretty good. Um, I, I could wrap, I could thumb, my, I could wrap my thumbs around it, and per se the hook, hook grip. Um, I really have no issue with it. It's not too big. It's not too small. Um, and like I said, 28.5 is it's perfect for uh, utilitarian run-of-the-mill bar. There's one neural mark on this bar. There's only an Olympic, um, so. I know a lot of their other bars, they, they give you two neural marks, so just keep that in mind. For me, it doesn't really bother me at all. <clears throat> their shaft coating is, uh, it's a bright zinc. A lot of their coating, um, it's, it's, you know, like I said, it's not, it's nothing too flashy. It's not the Corvette running, the red Corvette running down the freeway. In terms of barbells, it doesn't have the flashy Cerakote options. It doesn't have the flashy camo, camouflage options, which seem to be really big nowadays. It's, um, it, you know, it takes you back to the silver bright zinc coating. Um, d decent protection against corrosion. I've had a couple of their other bars, the, uh, the Rogue bar, and I've never seen um, a piece of rust on it. But I do take care of my bars fairly well. The, uh, in terms of its spin, um, I wanted to talk about the bearing versus bushing. 
Um, a lot of people are putting a lot of confidence in a bearing bar. I've had the Olympic, uh, the Eleco, uh IWF certified Olympic weightlifting bar. Um, and I want to say that I've actually cleaned 320 pounds with the Leco bar. You know, they have the uh, very, ex it's very expensive, a thousand dollar bar, what whatnot. But um, one of my best cleans actually happened in a uh, Globo gym. I was in an LA fitness and uh, I was with friends, no chalk. I think I had straps on and I was able to clean 300 pounds. You know, in, in, in the world of weightlifting, that's not the greatest weight, but I was able to clean a 300 pound clean with a cheapo uh, Globo gym bar. So I, I think the decent bushings found in this bar will serve you right if you're if your max weight is around there but if you want really want to specialize you might want to get yourself um, a more specialized bar with with uh, needle bearings and a greater whip all right guys so pretty much that's my um my review of it it's an excellent bar for the price um, i would spend a little bit more money for a lifetime warranty and um, you're definitely not gonna uh, it's it's nothing too special, but like I said, it'll get the job done. It screams quality. Um, it's an excellent bar for, say, a, a, a gym if you want to buy, you know, in mass. You want to buy 10 or 20 of these. You'll save a lot of money and you'll get the same quality as all of their other barbells. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please do like, share, subscribe. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Lift something heavy.